it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cincinnati Bengals. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Now from the riverfront of the Ohio, sellout crowd has arrived at Acor Stadium in Cincinnati. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Greg, one of the joys of covering the league week in, week out, you watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they get older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe protect some of the weaknesses. That's what it takes to play at a high level to quarterback for a long time in the NFL and give credit to both these players and both these organizations. I think it's official. They have their quarterback of the future, and the future looks bright. This will be returned from the six, and he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. The Eagles let out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him. It makes the big plays as well. Greg Geary is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch, and now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league, and if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. That's a gain of 21 to open this drop. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Man in motion is Smith. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Now Hurts going to call his own number. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. First and ten, it's Hurts. And that's complete to A.J. Brown. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Brown, he's got it again. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. They call this the alley. So it's the area between the hash marks and the numbers. And depending on what defense they're in, there is a lot of space to be had down those seams. So if this defense doesn't make a couple of adjustments, I wouldn't expect this offense to target any other place on this field. On first down, it's Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! Exactly the way they scripted this one. A beautiful opening drive, Greg. Able to find the end zone on the game's first possession. And Mike, the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution. And that's exactly what they talked about all week long. They wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm. And that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And 
and the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Brown now to return it. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Bengals offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. And they keep him healthy, because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. We're about to watch one of the most gifted passers in the league, Mike. And it's not only just his arm talent. That's, of course, off the charts. But his ability to process, his ability both pre- and post-snap to operate Maybe on a little bit of a different level than some of the other quarterbacks around the league. I mean, he is surgical with his approach. And he's on the short list of truly elite quarterbacks we have to offer in this league. And for us to get a front row seat, man, how special is that? They'll run here with Brown. Ooh. And he'll be taken down right at midfield. So you're on the sideline and you're watching the other team go right down the field and score on their first drive. As a play caller, you have to be careful that it doesn't throw you out of your initial plan coming into the game. They wanted to establish some ground game here early, and that's exactly what they did. Play action now. It's Burrow. Now he'll run. You know, Mike, nice job here by the quarterback. Just understanding on these early downs, you just don't want to go backwards. So he's able to avoid the negative play, pick up a little bit, and mostly avoid the sack. Here's second and nine. Now Brown. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Kobe Dean in on the tackle. What can they do here on third down and seven? Working out of the gun, Burrow. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. 11 yards on the pass there. And the Bengals going to have a first down. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, Sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. First and 10 now from the 36. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. This is intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. Well, that's the fast start they talked about all week, Mike. You come out, you take the immediate lead with your opening drive. Your defense goes out there, they force a turnover early. All these plays allow you to just keep stacking momentum early in this ballgame. This game is far from over, but anytime you get out to a start like this, it is a lot harder for your opponent to battle back. The Eagles offense ready to see the football for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. And that one is complete along the boundary. Good job of getting those feet in back. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in balance. On second down, Hurts. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route with great, great separation downfield. But now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. On third down, here's Hurts. He'll try to run for it. 
He can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. And just when you think you're going to force a three and out, this quarterback is able to escape, gets loose downfield, and he's able to pick up a huge first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. On the handoff, this is Barkley. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That'll be taken in by Barkley. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He'll try to run here with Barkley. And he's going to have an Eagles first down. He'll have it by plenty. It was third and two. They picked up eight. He'll stay on the ground with Barkley. Going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Second and 11. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. Brought in by the tight end Dallas guy. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target, but I don't think it's going to be his last. They run out of the gun with Parkley, and he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Now some movement up front. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time here today. To throw on second down is Hurts. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Converted twice on third down already on this drive. Now can they do it for a third time? A screen set up for Barkley. And he is close to the pileup, but they say he's not in. But he's got the next best thing. No touchdown, but a first down. It's first and goal. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look and we'll step out for a moment.
The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. They'll pitch it to Barkley. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit. And now it is third and goal. You can see the running back. He's waiting patiently for that cutback lane to open, and it just never did. Great job by the defense, continuing to string that play out sideways, and they're able to take him down for a loss. Third and goal for Hurts. And he's in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Greg, offensive coordinator, script the start of the game. This script has read perfectly. What a great start for this offense. It just seems like every play this offensive coordinator dials up is perfectly timed and then perfectly executed. They've been aggressive. They've been efficient right since the start of this one. And I'll tell you what, Mike, they continue to build on this lead here early. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long day for this defense. Mm -hmm. Here's Elliott for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Eagles will extend their first quarter lead. It's now 14 to nothing. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Jones now on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense ready for their second possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Burrow. It's so early in the game, you have to be careful now as coaches and players that you don't find yourself trailing early and get out of your game plan. There is so much time left. Stick to what you've worked on all week. There's plenty of time to chip away and see if you can make this thing close come the fourth quarter. Look at three tight ends here on first and ten. Now the replacement for Joe Mixon, it's Zach Moss. And how about that back? Bull dozing his way forward. A gain of nine yards. Second and a yard. Burrow to throw. A short pickup, but that is enough for a first down. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the huddle, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. One quarter in the books. It's the Eagles with the early advantage. Greg and I back here in Cincinnati after this. He'll come up now for second down and four. Back to throw. Burrow. That's complete to all the tight end. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Nice catch here by the young rookie tight end, Eric All. Looking back to college, Mike, it's really been the injuries. It's been a torn ACL, back surgery in 22. Because as far as the skill sets involved to play tight end in the NFL, 
He can really do it all. He is a well-rounded, true in-line wide tight end. If he can show the Bengals that he's healthy and he can remain on the field, I think there's a lot of things he can do to play impact on this Bengals offense going forward his rookie season. Second down and eight. They bring Chase in motion. Now a second down throw for Burrow. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. It's pretty well read there defensively. Anytime you throw these quick passes to the wide receivers, you're looking to pick your gain up after the catch. So let's give credit to the defense. Rally and tackle in space and keep that to a pretty modest gain. from out of the gun here on third down. That is incomplete, but there is a flag down. Big call here. It was third down. That one's on Orlando Brown, Jr. Burrow. to a halt with a penalty marker down on the play. So let's check out this call. They get the first round pick out of Georgia, Amarius Mims. Throwing now on third and long. Pass right side and Higgins has the catch. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. So now they'll send out Evan McPherson for this field goal try. This a 46-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good. And the Bengals get their first points of the game. They trail 14-3. to McPherson now, after making the field goal, is set to kick this one off. This is fielded inside the five. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. This one is caught by Dotson. And the mark them down just shy of the 40. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play call. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. Go run straight ahead with Barkley. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Nice run there by Barkley, and he certainly surprised a lot of people in free agency. Not only that he left the Giants, but that he chose to sign with one of their biggest rivals in the process. He now joins a loaded Eagles roster, and having him in the fold will certainly help as they try to get back to another Super Bowl here in 2024. Going over the middle, this one is complete. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. Quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Hurts will work here from the pistol. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Set to go now on first and 10. Hurts working in the pistol. He runs with it. These plays just kill you on defense. The pressure is good but you have to contain him. 
Quarterback does a nice job of escaping the pocket, turns into a runner, scrambles for positive yardage. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Hurts to throw. A pass caught by Saquon. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Here's a handoff to Barkley. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. He's out of bounds right around the five-yard line. Twelve yards there, and a first down. It's been a really nice drive they've been able to put together, Mike, and I think the key word is balance. Not having to rely too heavily on either the run or the pass. Continue to mix it up, going back and forth. Keep the defense off balance. A lot of success. Here's Barkley. Touchdown, Eagles! Elliot on now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Eagles move out to a 21-3 advantage. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Brown now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Heading out now, the Cincinnati offense. They're going to get set to take over once more. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline. So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. They'll run with Moss. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Working out of the gun, Burrow. He's got it! And he'll be taken down. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So it took just three plays, but just like that, they have first and goal. They'll run with Moss. And he will dive into the end zone. Zach Moss. Touchdown, Bengals.
Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point. The kick is good. And the Bengals get a bit closer here. It's now 21 to 10. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. To return is Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Saquon Barkley and this Eagle offense set to take over again. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop. And really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. We're out of the gun. They give it to Barkley. And he'll take this past the 30. A gain of six. Mark it at the 31. Here's a third down and four. On play action, here's Hurts. Looking for Campbell. He's got it. He's going to have that first down gain of six as they convert on third down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. They'll send a tight end in motion. Here's Hurts. He'll take this himself. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. You know, Mike, early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal, when you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. Hurts to the air on first deck. Oh, well, he's got a man. His tight end got it. A game there of 20. Good for an Eagles first down. from the gun. Here's Hurts. He'll look underneath here for Barkley. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. And they're going to bring him down, but there is a penalty marker on the field. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. This one, complete to Campbell. And that'll help a bit. They're still well short of the sticks. A solid pickup on that first down play. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, 
I'm not sure how you guard. They put Campbell in motion. Quick throw here is complete. Not able to stay in. He steps out of bounds, and that'll be a loss of a couple of yards on that one. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and you see these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Interception, it just ends up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an added bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. The Bengals offense going to get it one final time in this first half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. He'll try again here, second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. He'll keep this one on the ground. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. And it sets up third down. The throw is Burrow. He'll get that to all of his tight end. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Here's Burrow. He's going to air this one out. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Here, it was the always dangerous Saquon Barkley with the impressive first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Brown now to return it. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Bengals offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll start out first down and ten. A run with Moss to begin the drive. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. At this point in the game, Mike, we just haven't seen a lot of fire out of this offense. Here's another run. Simple handoff. No game. We'll try again. It's second and ten. 
They send the tight end in motion. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Reed Blankenship coming up from his safety spot to make the stop. They need eight as they come up for third down. Now, Burrow. And on third down, that ball incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And we run you through the highlights here. It has been a very big performance from the quarterback position instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Open receiver is Dotsu. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains, by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second down and three. Now again to Barkley, running right, and he'll have enough to move the chains. We'll take this forward for about three yards. Here's first and ten. Once again, it's Barkley. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. There's two elements to a successful run play, and the key is having them aligned. The offensive line needs to block according to the play and create space but the back has to hit that space at the appropriate time. This is a clear example as to why it leads to big gains. A pistol snap back to Hurts. Off he goes. That play had sack written all over it, so that's a great job by the quarterback, not only escaping the initial pressure, even though he doesn't gain a whole lot, he's able to pick up some positive yards for what looked like a disaster in the start. Here's a second and nine. Hurts. A lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. On third down, here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. Don Dotson was the intended receiver there. And now it's fourth down. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. Brown now to return it. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. 
The Bengals offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. Open and downfield. Chase has it. No touchdown, but they are close. Gonna be first and goal. They've got it at the three. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. So after the big play to start, now we have first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to go backwards on that one. They take him down back at the six-yard line. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Second and goal. Now it's from the six-yard line. Now, Burrow. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. An incompletion there isn't ideal by any means, Mike, but I think that's one of those passes where he made sure that ball was either going to end up in his guy's hands or out of bounds. Third and goal. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. That is caught. Trying to reach for the goal line, but he's going to come up just short. Wow, that's going to set up fourth down these are the worst I, I had a couple years Mike where I swear I got tackled inside the one yard line 10 times and then you look back and you're like man how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard now for him individual and he's into the end zone for a touchdown there is a marker down but I think this score is going to hold up Now for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Bengals back within seven. It's 24 to 17. the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away this one taken at the seven and their drive will begin at the 30 yard line the Eagles offense and running back Saquon Barkley heading back on the field and you have to imagine the defense is saying how do we stop this guy he has run rough shot through him to this point in the third quarter He'll start on the ground with Barkley. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Hurts will work here from the pistol. The recovery too strong that time. The ball batted away. An incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. On third down, it hurts. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. I just don't like the look of this passing game, Mike. It just seems a bit erratic. On top of the two straight incompletions, they've already turned the ball over through the air. Truthfully, with how dangerous some of these throws have been, 
They're lucky it hasn't been even more. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. He's going nowhere. Going to lose yardage on that play. Trying to catch the defense off guard with this designed quarterback run. Doesn't go down for a sack, but either way, defense was ready for it. Able to bring the quarterback down for a loss. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. On the handoff, this is Moss. And he'll pick his way forward. A gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. They bring Chase in motion. Working out of the gun, Burrow. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL had. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The Eagles offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Hurts going to hold on to this one. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. This defense has had their share of troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read. The defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. On first down, it's Hurts. A short throw taken in by Goddard. And he'll be marked out at the 45-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays. And that was a good one there. Now Hurts going to call his own number. And he maneuvers his way forward, a gain of six. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. They'll work now on second and four. On the ground, this is Barkley. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Hurts working in the pistol. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier. And that catch gets him a first down. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. A first down throw for Hurts. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. 
Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up the key third down? And it'll be taken down after a gain of nine and third down coming up. down it is a gain of six good conversion on third down when you decide to throw the ball on third and one typically Mike what you're doing is you start from the top down if you have the big shot downfield take it if not the quarterback works through his progression finds the medium target picks up the first down he'll get this over the middle to Smith and the Eagles are gonna have a first and goal coming up they try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. A run on first and goal. And nothing develops there. It'll stay right at the five-yard line. No gain on that one. Back to the drawing board for this run game, Mike. The offensive coordinator and his staff, they have to do a better job giving plays, giving opportunities to their offense to find success on the ground. Because right now, they have no answers for this defense. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. He's got all the time he could. He's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. So, some extra time to ponder this third and goal situation as we are now through the third. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. He'll try to run for it. And that's a pretty good effort here on third and long. He had nowhere to go down the field. The defense is playing real soft. He pulls it down and did all he could, but he's still going to end up being short in the first down. Interesting decision. A field goal makes it a two-score game. They're going to keep the hammer down and go for it on fourth and goal. Hurts going to keep it on the option. And he's not going to get there. They stopped him at the goal line. It's a turnover on downs. These are the opportunities when they present themselves. You have to capitalize. And in this case, it was the defense that forced the turnover on downs and kept them out of the end zone. The home team's offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. They'll need to get something positive going right away here. Ball starts inside their own one-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Well, that looks like a pretty clear hold. The game was five, but let's check the call. They'll stick to the ground. He's got some space. Pass the 20. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. Well, I'm not sure you're going to find a better example of just pure speed in the open field than that run right there. I mean, when he got past the first wave, you got the sense that he might just be able to outrun everybody on the field. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish 
control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll run. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. They need one right now. Third and long. Throwing is Burrow. He'll set up the screen for Brown. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. And they're going to get the first down. They were forced to go for it, and it's going to work out for them. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient both run and pass as they continue to wear this defense out they have to find a way to end this drive with points anything short of that be a bit of a and they are in great shape he's taken down inside the 10 and this is a tricky part of the game for any defense you find yourself protecting a late lead and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run here. He slowed up quickly as he gets this down to the six. Here now, second down, and goal. They go play action for Burrow. He's got his big tight end. Drew Sample. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter, and now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up, and we got ourselves a ball game. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good, and that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. All even. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Eagles offense about ready to take over once more. This game all even now following that touchdown a moment ago. They'll look to retake the lead on this drive. It starts with first down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. The pressure gets there and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. You can tell the quarterback has built a lot of confidence in his ability to make plays today with his feet. The defense has had a hard time keeping him in check, and this time, much better job in pursuit. Even though he was able to get outside the pocket, they were able to chase him down and bring him down for a sack.
to throw on second down is Hurts. That's taken in right side by Goddard. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Third down, here's Hurts out of the gun. Finding room at midfield. And they bring him down there, but it is inside the 10. It is going to be first and goal. So you take a look at an offensive coordinator's play sheet, Mike, and there's a column on all of those pages that at the end of the day, it's about the players, not the plays. And when things aren't going well, you say, all right, who do I have to get the ball to? Well, this guy is one of them. I mean, whether they throw it to him, hand it to him, whatever they do, the more he touches the ball, the more good things happen. From the shotgun, it hurts. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. And this is taken in by the defense. The quarterback was on the move, starting to gain some yards, but then he lost the ball. And the fumbles were covered by the defense. And early on, Mike, it was actually a really good job by the quarterback, extending that play, getting some positive yards with his legs. But he decided not to slide and give himself up. He takes that hit, loses the ball, and now the defense takes over. Jamar Chase headed back out there along with the rest of his Bengal teammates. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. Gasicki, the man in motion. On first down, Burrow. Now he takes off. Give him 14 on that play, one play. One first down. Anytime you find yourself backed up near your own goal line, Mike, the offense's first priority is to pick up one first down. Well, the quarterback does it all himself, gets out of the pocket for a nice scramble, and he's able to move the chains. They'll run here with Brown. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. Burrow, RPO, get it to Chase. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's third down and a few inches. Play action now. It's Burrow. Along the sideline, a nice catch. The feet in. It's a short game, but it'll move the chance. A first down. Goes without saying, this is a huge drive. This game is all tied up. Fourth quarter. That's a huge first down pickup. Now they got to see if they can get some points off this possession. A first down throw for Burrow. This one complete to Higgins. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Nice play there by T. Higgins. And when you think, Mike, back to 2023, he's only able to play 12 games. Still had just under 700 yards and five touchdowns. The hope in Cincinnati is when this guy is healthy, they have themselves a bona fide superstar at the wide receiver position. First and ten, Burrow. Prime again, another one to Higgins. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. You want to be a star in the NFL, Mike? These are the high-pressure moments that you can't shy away from. The greats, they embrace it. Tie ball game, fourth quarter. The game is on the line. Everyone in the stadium knows where that ball is going, and I can't blame them. He'll go right and find his running back.
Here's a second and six. There's a run out of the gun with Moss. And he'll get four on this one. Down inside the 40-yard line now. Big, big play. Third and two. Now, Burrow. Open man, left side. He's got it. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. The most impressive thing about this drive, Mike, has really just been their efficiency. They've just continued to pick up first downs, fresh sets of downs. We just saw there with that third down conversion continue to possess the ball these opportunities to come away with points continue to go up Moss finding room to the 20 and he's going to be taken down that's a heck of a run right here Mike tie game fourth quarter everything's on the line can you win in the trenches can the threat of that run continue to balance off the pass and that's a big game there as they try to go take this lead. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They go once more with Moss. And he'll get about five. So the Eagles will use their first timeout here. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. Another try with Moss. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Here's a big one. This third down. Here's a handoff to Moss. Now the Eagles will use the last of their timeouts. And it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. So out now, Evan McPherson in a big spot. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good! They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. On the return, it's Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The visitors offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. That's caught downfield by Smith. It's a big play when they needed it the most. 31 yards. The biggest correlation between scoring points in the NFL is your ability to generate explosive plays. And oftentimes, the best explosive plays in the passing game happen when the quarterback is outside the pocket. And great example of it here. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Second down, eight for the first down. They'll drop the throw. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. 
this is a pass that just needs to be completed, Mike. The opportunity was there. His guy was open. He ran out of room a little bit there on the sideline. Couldn't quite get the ball up and down fast enough and ends up being thrown out of bounds. Offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one.